pencil, grab a brush, we're about to do Art Club! Hello there! My name is Olaf Falafel and welcome to a very special Art Club for World Book Week. I am going to be showing you how to draw the hero of this book of mine called Blobfish and I'm also going to be telling you about one of my favourite illustrators, a guy called Eric Carl. Now you might not know the name, but you will definitely know his books, especially his most famous book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So I'm going to be showing you how to recreate his style. Uh, also, while I'm here, I may as well plug my new chapter book called Trixie Pickle Art Avenger. It's been out for a few months now, and there is actually a follow-up book called Toxic Takedown. So Trixie Pickle Art Avenger Toxic Takedown is coming out in a couple of months. So if you haven't got this, if you like Diary of a Wimpy Kid style books that have lots of cartoons and drawings in, and if you also like artists, because this girl, she likes artists, then you will love this book. And if you have already got this book, then you haven't got long to wait for the second one. So there you go. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you how to draw Blobfish and then I will be showing you how to make an Eric Carl version of Blobfish. All you need, he says, is a sheet of A4 paper. Let me pop those ones over there. And you'll need something to draw it with. I've got a big marker pen here. I wonder if that'll do. We'll give it a go. Now, the first thing you need to do is Blobfish's nose. Looks a bit like a smile, but it's actually a nose. And that curves around like so. And then once you've done that, you draw two eyes. So one eye is that shape there, and one eye is that shape there. Make that one perhaps a bit bigger. And I like to leave a little, don't color in the dot, uh, the, the eyes completely, just leave a little dot of white there. That's what I like to do. Gives them a little bit of a shine. Now, Blobfish is quite a lonely fish. He lives at the bottom of the sea on his own, so I'm gonna make him a little bit sad. Or shall I make him happy? I'm not sure. You know what? As it's World Book Week, I'll make him happy because it might just be a bit too miserable to make him sad. So what I'm going to do is a curved line that goes that way. Not quite as curved as the nose, but almost as long. And we're going to go around that line with another kind of line to make a bit of a sausage that are going to be his lips. Now, Blobfish has got three freckles under each eye on each cheek, and they're in the shape of a triangle. So I just do one, two, three, like that, and one, two, three, like that. Now, the best part of drawing Blobfish is drawing his blobby body. His blobby body, that sounds good to say, blobby body. Draw a line that goes sort of around from here, all the way along the bottom, to about there, and then it curves up and round and down and it goes into into his tail which is that kind of shape and then I'm going to draw one of Blobfish's fins just around about here and it goes like that and just connect that up and then connect the tail up and then over here I'm going to draw his other fin which goes like that and then inside the fins and the tail, I draw a line in the middle of each. And then a line in the middle of each section. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. So that is Blobfish. Amazing, huh? You can, of course, customize this with some seabed, perhaps if you like some bubbles and you could if you wanted to add some seaweed and color it all in I am NOT going to color this in because this is actually going to get cut up I know that sounds bad but it's going to be the template for my Eric Carl illustration now before we get going with the Eric Carl illustration you need to know a bit about him now he's an American illustrator and sadly, he died just a couple of years ago, but his books, he's had like over 70 books and they have sold millions of copies across the world. And the thing that I really like about his illustration is 
he makes his own colored paper. And that is the fun bit about this. So I've got some spare sheets of A4 paper here and I've got some paints over here. And what I'm gonna do is, well, I need some light pink, some slightly darker pink, and then I need something for the sand and then I need something for the sea, so like a, a bluey, greeny color. Perhaps I might do some seaweed as well, so a green. So perhaps one, two, three, four, five sheets of paper. And what you need to do, I'll start with my, my uh, light pink for Blobfish's body. I'm gonna mix up in this little palette here, a bit of white. Come on, there we go, oh, I'm running out of white. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this red to make the pink come on honey come that should be enough let me get a paintbrush I've got a paintbrush here I'll just mix those together do I need more than that do I need a bit more white that looks okay and all I'm gonna do is just paint my sheet of paper you'll notice I've got a bit of paper down just to protect my tabletop and you can do it in a real scruffy kind of way because what Eric Carl used to do was make very textured paper go and what I might do I've got some luminous pink here I might add a little oh that's probably too much might have to add some more white now just to balance that out I'll mix that together and just splodge them around my sheet of paper as well perhaps a bit of dark a bit there the idea we're getting at here is to make your sheet of paper quite textured. And I find a good way to do that actually is to get like a sheet of kitchen towel. Perhaps dosh that in your dosh. And do that sort of thing. I mean, you can be quite messy and quite playful with this, which is the, the most fun part of it. As long as obviously you're not wearing your best clothes and you don't get it all over your clothes, you should be fine. And I won't get told off by parents. Now, I'm more or less covered. Have I gone through? Have I been a bit violent? Oh no, that's a bit of kitchen towel. So what I'm gonna do is leave this one to dry I'm going to make a darker coloured pink and then I'm going to make something for the sea, something for the sand, something for some seaweed and then I will get back to you and show you what I'm going to do next. I'll probably put all of this in fast forward.
Right, now that I've got all of my sheets of colored, textured, painted paper, what I need to do now is just put them to one side and get my original drawing of Blobfish back. And what I'm actually gonna do is get my scissors and cut it up into different bits. So first of all, I am gonna cut out sort of Blobfish's body and just cut around the fins. Yeah. You don't have to be terribly neat with this. Just leave this bit to one side. And I am gonna get my light pink sheet of paper and I'm gonna take Blobfish and I'm actually gonna, is this right? Oh, I'm gonna turn this upside down, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put Blobfish reversed and then I'm gonna get a pencil and just go around him. Again, it doesn't have to be incredibly neat I'll just go around there and then I'm gonna cut that shape out of my light pink paper there is going to be Blobfish's body. I'm going to stick it all down when it's done into a sheet of white paper. That's got a bit of red paint on it, but it doesn't really matter for this. And the next thing I'm going to do is grab these bits here, put this to one side again, and we're going to use our darker pink for these two flippers, and I might also just cut the tail out. So if I kind of just cut the tail out there and cut these flippers out, or oh, and the lips, what do the lips of course? They're in a slightly darker pink. That flipper, flipper or fin. the lips so leave that over there where's my I take my sheet of darker pink flip it over again, and then flip all of these over. And to trace around each bit. those bits out. So 
so there we go we've now got all of our darker pink bits and actually I'm not going to put this on a white sheet of paper because I've got my I've got my C color this is my C here and if I use that as my backdrop all I need to do is get my sand and cut a kind of wiggly line I can do that by freehand stroke And I've actually got two. I could either use that one and then put that one there to make some layers and levels to it. There we go, that looks quite good. And then I can plop blobfish somewhere there. And what I'm going to start doing is get my glue stick and start sticking some stuff down. So, first of all, I will stick. Actually, I'll get that sheet of paper. stick blobfish down now the actual big part of blobfish the body I'm going to draw his nose in now. Some cranes here. I've got a black one in there. Is that a black crane in there? It looks like one. So I'm going to draw Blobfish's nose back in. Actually, if I get my my cutout, it should give me a guide of where his nose kind of needs to be. So it's kind of there, isn't it? to the effect. And now we have a little bit of a positioning where we can put a smile, which will go underneath. Again, let's add some glue to that. Sure about the black crane. I might use my pen that I used in the beginning. Oh, there it is. Let me just draw. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. And I'm going to start sticking the fins down. So one goes there. Stick this one just there. The t 
tail hopefully will fit over that bit there and then this one comes around about there now for the eyes I have actually got a little sort of corner of black here and what I could just do is on the reverse where the black bit is just draw two eyes and cut those out quickly you could just draw the eyes on if you wanted to but I thought I'll see how this looks probably won't make any different There's a bit of texture on there. We'll glue that there. We'll glue that one there. Stick that down. There's my pen. <coughs> Let's give him those freckles. I'll use my pen for the freckles. And I'll use my pen to do the lines that go. Now what I might also do is make some bubbles using this sort of lighter area here. I'll use the lid of my glue stick, I think. Oh, that'd be crazy. Perhaps I'll do one freehand. Let's go around my pen as well. Slightly bigger one. And if I cut those out, we should have some nice underwater bubbles. side and stick these down Finally, what you can do, if you want, is make some seaweed. I've got a slightly darker green here, and I could use it to make some seaweed. So what I might do is just on the back, draw some sort of seaweed shapes. might just do before I stick these seaweeds down is just get a crayon and go over the top what color could it be like a brown or a red red might work nicely no nope, red doesn't really do much there we go I use brown just to give it some more texture
turn it over. Get my glue. And last but not least, you can then use a crane just to add some shadow underneath blobfish. try and do is perhaps just a little bit of shadow underneath in another crane. And there you go. That is my finished Eric Carl style blobfish. I hope you have lots of fun making your own. If you do make your own, please do share them with me using the hashtag OlafArt. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.